Hello, and welcome to episode number five, the Donovan McNabb episode of The Checkdown, brought to you by The Painted Lines. I'm your host, Half and Half, and you can follow me on Twitter at half and half underscore TPL. Make sure you're following The Painted Lines account at The Painted Lines. And so let's get into it. As is very fitting in a podcast episode dedicated to Donovan McNabb, we're talking about a quarterback controversy. Yesterday, prior to the game, a report came out on ESPN alleging that Carson Wentz was not interested in being a backup and stating that he would want to move on from the Eagles if Jalen Hurts remains the starter long term. Now, Twitter lost their mind and a lot of analysts began tweeting about this like it was newsworthy for some reason. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure why. When you look at the dynamic between Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts, Carson Wentz was caught on camera several times on the sideline yesterday during the game, and oftentimes he was right next to Hertz, talking to him, looking at the tablet, helping to coach him up. Doug Peterson said after the game publicly that Carson Wentz is doing everything that he can do to help Hertz and that he's being a great teammate. Jalen Hertz himself has said that Carson Wentz has been very supportive and he's very knowledgeable about the game. And so my question is, why does this story even get airtime? Like, I would be more concerned if a report came out that Carson Wentz was fine being a backup. Everybody would be upset being a backup. Nobody wants to do that. He's an athlete. He wants to compete. His unhappiness in this situation stems from wanting to be great. Carson Wentz already got paid. He could never take another snap, make another $100 million, and retire. And so when the headline says that Carson Wentz is content to be the backup and eat Doritos on the sideline, then you should be concerned. Right now, Carson Wentz wants to go compete. He wants an opportunity to play to prove that he's worth the contract that he's been given. And so people are suggesting that Wentz could learn some things from Jalen Hurts, who was uh, benched during a national championship game at Alabama for Tua Tugaviola, who's now a starting quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. And people are holding Hurts up as some high standard there. But what did Jalen Hurts do in that situation? He did the right things publicly. And then he transferred in the offseason. People are getting worked up because Carson Wentz wants to live up to his contract. And that's just absurd. There's no reason for this other than just to manufacture drama. Philadelphia fans have got to stop pitting quarterbacks against one another. You had Donovan McNabb versus Kevin Cobb, Michael Vick versus Nick Foles. Now you have Wentz versus Foles, and now it's Wentz versus Hurts. You should want them both to succeed because it's what's best for the team. It's what gives the team options. So I implore you, stop overreacting to every manufactured narrative. Jalen Hurts has played two and a half games of NFL football. He's played 10 quarters, and he's looked really good, but... There have been some definite limitations placed on him by the coaching staff. He needs more time. We need a bigger sample size. But for now, stop freaking out and enjoy the fact that the Eagles have finally been exciting to watch over the last two over the last two weeks. Stop picking sides and just enjoy the team. Well, that's going to wrap it up for episode number five, the Donovan McNabb episode of the Checkdown. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to The Painted Line so you don't miss the next episode. And drop a comment down below. Let me know, do you think this comment or this report's a big deal? And if so, why? I'd love to hear from you down below.